Hello, folks. Hello. We're back. We're back. Another review. Another review. Love and Hip Hop, episode five. Mm-hmm. Five. Now, let's see. You know, as usual, we jump around. We don't fucking say in order. We just point out things that fucking stood out to us. Key facts in the show. So, first of all, we're going to talk about fucking Mimi. Packing up Stevie J shit. First of all, Stevie J only had three boxes and three little ass boxes a day. Hardly any clothes in those boxes. And what stood out to me about that scene is why the fuck did she put a picture of her and the kid in there and him? And they supposedly supposed to be taking a break. I guess this this is something to remind him or something. Maybe it's a reminder of what he lost. Okay. Hmm. Uh, I just don't know. All right. Then we're going to jump into Lil Scrappy in the bed. I guess he was out partying the night before. This is what Eric was saying. He was partying the night before and came home and ended up having an asthma attack. You know, speaking from an asthmatic myself, I've been out partying. Drunk like a motherfucker, smoking on some shit. Ain't never had me have no asthma attack. You can't be hard and have asthma, nigga. That's not gangster. That's not gangster at so all. So not gangster. <laughs> so his mom comes over to the house, I guess, because he had just came out of the hospital, and he tells his mom that you know Erica had left him at the hospital, and you have to understand that Erica is a grown woman, and Erica has a job. Something that Lil Scrappy doesn't have. I mean, what is this nigga ain't paying her bills? What, what is Lil Scrappy occupation right about now? What was his last hit? When was his last hit? Okay, so you know, Erica has to go to work. You know, this nigga partying the night before, and you want me to stop what I'm doing because your ass outside partying all night. And you got an asthma attack. Now, if you would have stayed your asthma, how's knowing that you have asthma problems, sir? <laughs> you probably would have been okay, but you cannot, you cannot expect this girl to fucking take off her nine to five because your ass got asthma from partying the night before. That's just not going to happen. The way I look at it, nigga, was you going to compensate her for some money that she would have lost in the hospital with your ass? No. No. So, you know, Mommy D, Mama D, baby and Lil Scrappy. I, I Personally, I just think Lil Scrappy just need to be a man, grow up, and really def- decide what the fuck he really want to do. Because, Lil Scrappy, we don't know what the fuck you want to do. Basically, nigga, get off the tip. It's time to let go. Exactly. So, you know, Mama D calls over Erica, and, you know, they have a meeting. And my thing about that is... Why didn't Lil Scrappy just sit Erica down? Why we had to wait until the end of the show, well, close to the end of the show, for him to tell Erica, you know, how he felt. And then he really wasn't even exact with her. He still didn't tell about Because it's another woman, which y'all see in the show, which was damn Shay Johnson. A.K.A. Bucky. Okay. And we already know he smashed. You they know, ain't said it yet, but we it know that they fucked. They relationship finna go to another level. It didn't already went to another level. Okay. He got the draws. So, I mean, just be exact. You not really feeling her. You know, she don't took your ass back. Numerous of times. Numerous of times. And she was, you know, Erica, sweetheart, you t- you too good for them, Scrappy. You really are. You too, too mature for them. You know, you, you a, a good girl. Good woman with a good heart. Good head on your Good nine to five. You deserve better. You deserve better. Okay. All right. Then we're going to get into this Carly and fucking Stevie J and Jocelyn little shit. I mean, I seen the little stupid ass performance and I'm just saying to myself, this girl has no talent. None. She can't dance. At all. I don't know what the hell they was thinking about telling her that. She could sing. And she like forty. What is she? A rapper? A singer? Cause I know I didn't even get what she was saying really. 
it was just throwing me off. And then Stevie J's telling, Jocelyn comes in, and Stevie J's telling her, hey, you know, I want you to make a song with me. And if I was Jocelyn too, I would have been like, hell no. Nah. Not just after what the fuck I just seen. You expect me? Bitch was dancing like she was stomping on roaches. With her, I don't give a fuck if she is with cash money. And I, I mean, I'm not even going to get into that. But still, she has no talent. Okay. So, Stevie J convinces Jocelyn. Convince, man. The mastermind is, himself. That nigga got that Jedi mind shit <laughs> down to a sign. The mastermind himself convince damn Jocelyn, hey, make a single with her. And we cool. Okay. So Carly goes outside, sees Benzino. Long story short, they they setting up something for a little date. Okay. And it lost a lot of weight. So then here we go. All right. Here we go. We jump into Lil Scrappy and Erica having the damn meeting. Okay. And Lil Scrappy is not really exact with Erica. He's just really just plainly just blaming a little bit of something to really basically get out of the relationship that they in. He was looking for a loophole to get out of a relationship. And to me, That's it's like... It was a cop-out. To me, it's like it was only convenient for him until he found something else. And then he was like, okay, fuck it. Boom. He was just looking for a, a what? A getaway. What did I tell you? Like Chris Rock said, a man is only as faithful as his options. You can learn a lot from us, everything. Okay. <laughs> So they had a meeting. Y'all know how it turned out. Little Scrappy walks out like a little girl. Okay. So then we get to the end where no, I can't forget this. I cannot forget this. Can't forget the little bullshit fight. Yeah, but we can't forget the Stevie J and Mimi segment when Mimi brings over his shit, the three boxes. <laughs> okay. And they have a fucking conversation and Mimi's cussing and all this other shit. And I'm saying to myself, three bosses, either he don't live there or either he still got some shit at the house. Because, I mean, three well, boxes. Well, she did say she was bringing some of his shit. She should have packed up all his shit. Because she still really want to be with Stevie J. You know, even though she say all that shit, she still want to be with Jedi mind She tree. still going to be with that nigga. All he got to do is just say he... Stop fucking with uh, Jocelyn. And we know that's not going to happen. And she'll take him back. No she doubt. Will. So I guess the producer scattered out some of his shit and she ran over the shit. Because when she sat <laughs> them boxes down, when shit ran with them boxes. So then we get to the fight with fucking K. Michelle and uh, Carly. Carly. I always forget her name. Her non- she ain't hardly ever on that. Her non talented ass. Okay. What we call her? Atmosphere. <laughs> That's how she is to the show. They have a fight. And a see, non-motherfucking factor. This was set up by Mimi so they can all talk. And Carly, I keep forgetting her fucking name because she's a non-motherfucking factor, starts talking to Mimi. All right. And then K. Michelle says something. And then Carly says, not today. You know, I'm not in the mood. Whatever. And K. Michelle was talking about her little rope, rhinestone, snake chain, I guess. And um, this shit did look like some swap me. One thing though. turned into another, and fucking Carly shakes the table, and K. Drake Michelle fell. throws a napkin like she's throwing a. And then and fucking yeah, she throws a fucking napkin, and y'all saw that lump. I don't know if the lump came from her being mad, and she just had that big ass lump. Did you see the lump? No, I didn't see no lump. If you get mad like that and you got a lump, you may want to get that shit checked out. That's not good for the brain. That's really not good for the fucking brain. But they, you know, trade blows with words. You know, this bitch, this, this bitch, that, and somebody going to have to take me to jail today. And whoopie woo. They really should end the show with Stevie J. This is the first show. Well, it wasn't all about Stevie J. Well, it was not all about Stevie J. Okay, so um, tell us what you think. You know, we miss some stuff like the girls having a conversation and supposedly surprise snow cones in their hand. Yeah, <laughs> we only say shit that sticks out to us. So 
Um, overall, pretty good show. I thought. What about it was you? Decent. It's all right. Keep on watching, y'all. Y'all tell me what y'all think. Subscribe, comment. I honestly can't believe I'm like still watching this shit. It's pretty good. It's Atlanta. You know, it's a bad rep for Atlanta, but hey. Hey, it's my off day, and I'm bored, and you know. Unlike y'all direct TV users. Direct TV. You can't. <laughs> we got all our channels. <laughs> Comcast, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> they got fucked up customer service, but at least we get all our channels. Man, that's fucked up. That's real fucked up. Direct TV. Don't got Spike TV. VH1. MTV. BET. Comedy Central. Oh, damn. And you know they're going to take your kids' Cartoon Network. And we still going to charge you the same motherfucking price. <laughs> damn. <laughs> That's got to suck. Sucks to be you. But, uh, man, we're going to get off here. Y'all tell us what y'all think. Subscribe, comment, like, share. All that good shit. Do what you do. Thanks for the love. Peace. Peace.